Hi everybody, I'm Jeet from Espresso Tech Sales and Service. Uh, today we're going to do a video featuring Philip Seiko's new grinder, The Focus. And this video is going to be pulling a few shots and showing you what this little baby can actually do. Um, so if you saw the other video, this is the uh, new Focus grinder. Very, very competitively priced. Um, and initially we had really no hopes for it. Well, me personally, I had very little hopes for it. Um, but they seem to step up their game. It seems to be a very, very good grinder some from, from previous testing uh, before this video. It pulled some pretty impressive shots. So earlier, Gary has already preloaded uh, the focus with our uh, house blend, the 9 bar. And uh, we got a little bit of grinds in there, but we're going to go ahead and grind it. Uh, we're grinding it right now. I think it's 7th from the finest setting here. Uh, Actually, the burrs were touching. We tested it on the other video, but the burrs start to touch at about the second or third finest setting. And I mentioned in that video that it's a really good thing that that's so because that way, you know, um, usually you're never going to really need the coarsest, coarsest grind setting, even for drip. Uh, and this lets the users who do use this for espresso to have a bit of play down the road that they can, you know, when the burrs wear down and the machine wears down, they can set it a bit finer. So I'm going to leave it at that setting there and we're going to go ahead and grind it. We're going to set it to uh, setting 3 which is probably going to go for I'd say just shy of 30 seconds. Well, maybe not 30 seconds. But we're going to go ahead and grind out now. So as I was touching our earlier video it is, it is pretty loud. I'm having to talk quite loud and I'm doubtful if you guys can hear this over the audio. So I'll have to check back and I'll probably do some annotations as to what I'm saying if it can't be heard. And that is done. So we went ahead and grinded it. In case you missed that, I was just uh, commenting on the loudness of the grinder. Um, you know, if you compare that side by side, that was the loudness of the Philips Echo. And we have our macap in the back, which is not so bad. I can talk in the same tone and you can hear it perfectly fine. So it, it, it is a noisy one, but the results are well worth it. So I'm going to take that out right here. Let's pull off this cover, and they say it's anti-static coating, but it's it's all over the place. Um, but the results, that that's the main grid of it. This is not the finest setting. Earlier when we had it there, it was so fine um, on the third finest setting that it choked our Epica. Now, so we're gonna go ahead and add this in and pull a shot off of it right here. Now, it would have been helpful if I had a coffee scoop here ready, but in the meantime, I'm just going to jiggle it and make a nice little mess on the counter, unfortunately. Just level that flat and give it a bit of a tap. Oh, Butterfingers today. All right. Now that it's nice and clean, and I'm mean, I spending a bit of time cleaning the ears off and such, I like to do that just because it prevents you know, all that coffee from going into the machine. So now that that's prepped, I'm going to load it in here, take one of these pre-warmed espresso cups from the side. I'm going to go ahead and pour this shot. And hopefully your reaction at home is the same. We are quite impressed from this little grinder. It's like the little grinder that could. Um, it, it's pouring out a beautiful espresso shot. Uh, again, it hasn't been calibrated. This is probably about the third shot that we pulled today, so you can tinker it. It is a stepped grinder, so you're not going to be able to fine, fine tune it. You'll have to adjust it in your, you know, your coffee preparation. But that being said, that is a pretty impressive grind for that uh, focus to pull out to be put through this Epica machine right here. And it's calibrated to pump out at about nine bars of pressure. So it, it is able to do a quite, quite impressive fine grind. So that's our video overview on the, uh, well not overview, but that's the Philips Seiko Focus Grinder and pulling some shots off of it. So the grind capability is quite impressive and we definitely would recommend it for a lot of the home users um, as a viable option too. So again, thanks for checking out our video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. Um, comment and let us know what you think of the grinder. Uh, if you got one, how your impressions are, that'd be awesome to hear back. If not, stay tuned for the next one, alright guys?